Today on the show, we're taking a look at the Quick Strike Goliath from the Disney's Gargoyle Series 1 Kenner Toy Line from 1995, so stay tuned. 1,000 years ago, superstition and the sword ruled. It was a time of darkness. It was a world of fear. It was the age of gargoyles. All right, guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today, we're taking a look at the Quick Strike Goliath from Disney's Gargoyles Series 1 Kenner Toy Line from 1995. Now, you will notice this is an incomplete figure. He is missing his tail right off the bat. And uh, that's because... I got this for my son at a rummage sale. They had, uh, I think, two Goli two different Goliaths. Uh, Brooklyn. Uh, I think they had Bronx. And um, I think that might be about it. Uh, but yeah, uh, I saw these. I mean, immediately grabbed them up. I've got to find my uh, son's other Goliath and Brooklyn. And in the future, I will do a review on those as well. Uh, for now, we're looking at Goliath. Uh, this is Quick Strike Goliath. Uh, as you'll notice, the difference uh, in appearance between him and the other Goliaths in the in the toy line is he has the blue uh, loincloth, whereas the other ones in the line have a brown loincloth. Uh, he also he's got that growling expression on his face and red eyes. The other ones, uh, they aren't really growling. Uh, if they are, it's a, it's a slight snarl, and they don't have red eyes. Uh, so let's take a look at the details on this guy first and foremost. As you can see, there is some paint wear on it. It's an old figure. It came out in '95, uh, at the height of the Gargoyles to uh, animated series fandom, uh, and this. It looks like this is maybe one of the first um, style of toys to have the ball joint at the arm. Uh, and that's so that whenever you move his arms back and forth, his wings will flap. Uh, and also you'll notice his wings do detach. This one a little bit easier than the other one. Uh, it's kind of stuck in place. Uh, but they did come uh, in package, detached. Uh, I'll show a picture of you of the uh, packaging right now. All right. So that was the packaging. And uh, yeah, it, not not bad. Um, uh, it, it's a really cool figure. Uh, I like the. Uh, I don't know if you can tell there, but. Feels like uh, they tried to make it uh, feel as much as stone, like stone as possible. The texture of it, uh, very nice. It, it's. I don't know if you can hear that that well or not. But the texture is very nice. The paint detail they got, the purple to uh, kind of put in shadows parts that would normally be in shadow the red eyes blood red very nice and as I said he is missing his tail uh, I'll have to find that someday maybe when my son's a little bit older uh, and he wants to actually collect rather than play with the toys uh, I'll probably find him the tail so he's got that another thing that Goliath has Quick Strike Goliath has that the other uh, that's different from the other ones is a pouncing action. All right, so here he is in a squatting pose. Um, yeah, it do, it does look kind of funny, uh, especially with the look on his face, you know. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, when he's in, when he's crouched down like this, 
His arms can't really move very much. They're locked into place. So what you got to do is you bring the t you push the tail down and it launches him. So let's go ahead and try and get him balanced so that it'll he'll launch. All right. Oh. <laughs> Didn't work that well. Uh, it's supposed to launch him a little bit further, kind of like the uh, the uh, uh, basic Voltron lions that have the pouncing action. You know, it's supposed to launch him a little bit more. Uh, if you're not familiar with Garg Disney's Gargoyles, it was an animated series uh, that came out back in the 90s, the early to mid 90s. It was a very good show. Um, it even got syndicated in the mornings on Fox Kids for a brief time because ABC didn't really have a morning uh, cartoon, um, a morning cartoon block. Uh, like Fox Kids had. Uh, ABC mainly just did news in the mornings. And so Fox Kids, I believe it was Fox Kids. Could be wrong. It was either Fox Kids or Kids WB. Uh, one of those two. Uh, they bought uh, syndication rights uh, for season one, I believe. And they were able to uh, air it in the mornings before kids went to school. Um... Basically, what it is, is 10,000 years ago, superstition and the sword ruled. Um, gargoyles were a race of protectors, guardians of humans. Uh, but then humans betrayed them, uh, cast a magical spell, making it so that they would sleep in stone for a uh, thousand years. Then in modern day, they wake up, and Xanatos, which is the main uh, villain for season one, he moves the castle in which they're stones of uh, to New York, and he waits for them to wake up. He tries to corrupt them, use them for his own gain. And eventually, Goliath, the leader of the uh, Gargoyles, along with, um, I forget her name, uh, but a female cop that he, he's very fond of, <laughs> let's say. They don't flat out say that they're in love, but he's very fond of her, and she's very fond of him. Uh, she helps the gargoyles to uh, defeat Xanatos and get him arrested. Uh, Goliath's former mate, Angela, uh, she didn't turn to stone for a thousand years like the rest of the gargoyles. Instead, she became human. Uh, at night, she becomes a gargoyle, and in the daylight, she's human. Uh, whereas with gargoyles, at night... They're gargoyles, and during the daylight hours, they're stone. So that's that's Disney's gargoyles in a nutshell. And you may be thinking, hey, they got wings so they can fly. No, they don't fly, they glide. Uh, they've got to climb very high, uh, usually, before they can actually use their wings to any uh, any great usefulness. Uh, they usually, you know, climb up the side of a building, you know, like, and then they'll just leap off and they'll glide, you know, uh, so when Goliath and the other gargoyles, when they're not using their wings, they usually have them draped around them. And these little hook pieces, they kind of 
lock each side in place, wear them kind of like a cloak almost. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it on gargoyles. Uh, Goliath was always my favorite. I always, I to this day, I wish they would bring gargoyles back. Disney, Disney would do have great success if they brought back the old shows that they that really popularized them in the '90s. You know, they got Ducktales, but it's not the same Ducktales as before. It, it's an okay show, but it's not as great as it once was. They're bringing back Darkwing Duck in the same style as the new DuckTales, which, eh, eh, you know, I'm not too fond of, but it is what it is. You know, they could bring back Goof Troop. They could bring back Rescue Rangers. Uh, they need to bring back Gargoyles. Gargoyles was a great show. It came at a time when superhero shows wore uh, cartoons, animated series, whatever you want to call them, were extremely popular. Um, I got season, uh, volume two of season one on DVD. Uh, I still got to get volume one and then I got to get season two. I think there might have been only two seasons, maybe three seasons, but I could be wrong. But there were a lot of episodes in those seasons, uh, which makes it last a lot longer than it really did. Seemed to last a lot longer than it really did. Uh, like with Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, uh, it only lasted really two or two se two or three seasons, but it seemed to go on a lot longer because. They had new episodes every single day. It wasn't just a once a week thing. It was five, six days a week. They would air Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It was pretty close to the same way with Gargoyles. Uh, ask anyone who was around during that time. They'll tell you they more than likely watched Disney's Gargoyles. So there you have it guys. 1995's Quick Strike Goliath from the Disney's Gargoyles Series 1 Kenner Toy Line. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more videos and take care. Stone by day, warriors by night. We were betrayed by the humans we had sworn to protect, frozen in stone by a magic spell for a thousand years. Now here in Manhattan, the spell is broken. And we'll